So on Sunday night, Manchester United take on Sevilla, the kings of the Europa League, given how many times they've won it. But it's the semi-final. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is two games away from his first trophy as Manchester United manager, a European trophy at that. Look, we might be in the Champions League next year and that was the biggest goal of the season, but do not underestimate the value and importance and the significance of what it would mean to Solskjaer at United to win his first trophy and to win the Europa League this season. Solskjaer will absolutely want to win it. In the grand scheme of things, it won't affect how next season goes, but in terms of the mentality of the squad, bringing that winning mentality back in that's disappeared, it can all start with winning the Europa League. First thing I want to say before going through my predicted 11 for the game against Sevilla is United need to improve on how he played against Copenhagen. Look, their goalkeeper may have had an absolute stormer, a record number of saves in the Europa League game. And we probably would have won 4-5-0 with any other keeper there. But the finishing for me wasn't crisp enough. But more importantly than that, United in possession were poor. Could not play out from the back with the ball. The pressure and the pressing from Copenhagen won out so often that United just couldn't play football. We cannot do that against Sevilla. And Sevilla will press. So United need to be better and quicker, quicker movement, quicker passing. Quicker. With the ball, in possession, if we can have any chance of being Sevilla. And this is the team that I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to put out on Sunday. And starting in goal, I'm going to go for Sergio Romero over David De Gea. I think Romero will keep his place. I think with De Gea, the only time I remember... Ole Gunnar Solskjaer switching his tactics is the FA Cup game against Chelsea. I think that was a time when De Gea came in. We all expected Romero to start and then De Gea had a bit of a howler. De Gea's had howlers this season. Romero, this is his opportunity. Just give it to him. He hasn't played bad, so why take it away from him? The back four, I've gone for Williams, Maguire, Bay, and Wan-Bissaka. Now, Williams, I think, has actually been playing OK in the last couple of games. Shaw's out for the rest of the season. He's our best option at left-back. You could play Fosu Mensu there if you want to force him out of position. Timothy Fosu Mensu has done well when he's come in. All credit to him. But I think Williams is better there. We don't really have enough threat because Williams and Wan-Bissaka aren't overlapping enough. They need to get that width against Sevilla. But I would start Williams there and Wan-Bissaka on the right-hand side, obviously, because he's our starting right-back, without question. Now, the, the questions in defence are with Maguire's partner. Now, Baez played the last couple of games. And I think Baez actually looked quite good. He's still that. He's still always two yards away from it being a red card with basically every tackle. And I suppose you could say the same thing about every defender, but that's what I feel when watching Eric Bai. But I do feel he complements Maguire better and covers Maguire's weaknesses slightly better. Now, in terms of playing out from the back, maybe Lindelof would be better suited to that. And maybe that's why Solskjaer would choose him here against Sevilla instead of Bai. But I'm going to choose by Maguire as my centre-back partnership that I think Solskjaer will go for. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But for me, the most important player in terms of bringing that possession back out of defence has got to be Matic. So the midfield is going to be Matic, Pogba and Fernandes. Pogba and Fernandes, they, they're fine. I don't even really need to explain why they're there. But Matic for me over Fred and over McTominay because Matic is the best player at receiving the ball from the defence and finding a teammate. And that is the key area where, we've been, where we were massively weak against Copenhagen. Because we had to go long, because Fred wasn't really doing it properly there, neither was Pogba. Pogba's just a little bit too slow in that position. He just doesn't have, I don't know why, but he seems to take just that extra touch on the edge of his own box that just causes danger. And Matic is more astute, more experienced. He understands that role far better against pressing teams. Now Matic isn't the fastest midfielder, but I just want him to receive the ball from defence and find Fernandes, find Pogba, find someone slightly further up the pitch, beat that first level of press. I think Matic is best suited to that in this team. That's why I would start him. And obviously Pogba and Fernandes in front of him. Fernandes coming up with the goods against Copenhagen with the cool, cool penalty. Hopefully he gets another penalty just so people can be pissed off about it. Of course, you're going to get more penalties if you've got players like Martial, Greenwood, Rashford, Fernandes running into the box. We used to have... A like Matter, Lingard, Rooney, if you want to go really far back. We used to have much slower players. Now we don't. Stop crying, everybody. United have more players in the box. We get more penalties. Who figured that? But Fernandes and Pogba in midfield for me. Fernandes is probably the key man. Once again, he is our key man. If we win the Europa League, he's going to be an instrumental part of it. And I hope Pogba can... 
I think Pogba was a bit lackadaisical against Copenhagen, and they're the sorts of performances you get from Pogba, those lackadaisical ones, although just those ones where he's really controlling it. And maybe I'm being too harsh here, maybe I'm singling Pogba out because I think everybody in that midfield against Copenhagen didn't do well enough. But I just know what Pogba's capable of, and I hope we see that against Copenhagen, not Copenhagen, sorry, against Sevilla, and I'm confident that we will. Looking at the front three, I think they picked themselves, Rashford, Martial and Greenwood. I think Rashford... He's been lacking in the last few games. I think we can all admit that Rashford's just, he seems to have lost that little bit of an edge that he's had. I don't know whether it's confidence, whether it, what, what, no matter what it is, Rashford's not the same Rashford that we saw early this season. And then even after he came back from lockdown, he found a good bit of form. He's just, he's dipped in the last couple of games and hopefully he can find himself up again. Now, I think a big reason is Shaw not being there on the left because it, it forces Rashford it squeezes the space away from Rashford because Williams, while he overlaps, sometimes it doesn't overlap in the same way that a natural left-footed left-back does. And that creates space for Rashford to attack because Rashford's better when he's running out of defender with pace, but when you've got double defenders on him, it takes it away from him. So I'd like to see Williams overlapping. I think that's important for Rashford having a good game. Mason Greenwood, I could really see him scoring the winner for United against Sevilla. I hope so. I really, really hope so. It's just every time he cuts inside, you expect it to go on target. He's created such a, an expectation around himself that really shouldn't be there for an 18-year-old, but he's given us the expectation through his own sheer quality and consistency. Man, that guy is good at finishing. So, so good at finishing. So unlucky not to have that goal against Copenhagen, I think it was, offside. What a finish that was on his right foot, left foot, right foot, anyway. Greenwood's dangerous as hell, and I hope wan Bissaka can get some overlaps because they're so important, those overlaps, for creating space for Rashford and Greenwood to cut inside as they take a defender away from them. Don't have those overlaps. It's very easy to double up on Greenwood and Rashford in those positions. Now, Martial, he is our number nine this season. He has improved so much in that role, and I think he'll be there for, for some time now. You know, was he on 23, 24 goals? Him and Rashford toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. Martial's fantastic in that position. He's developed so much. He's not just about wonderful goals curling into the top right-hand corner now. He's able to play with his back to goal, to hold off defenders, to bring others into play. He can score scrappy goals like running to the front post, but he still can score those worldies. He's still, his dribbling right now is on another level. His confidence is sky high. And I, for me, he was man of the match against Copenhagen. He might not have scored, but he was just fluid. Fluid football to watch. And we do play fluid football when we're confident. And of course we do, with that front three of Rashford, Martial and Greenwood and with Pogba and Fernandes behind them. And that would be the team that I would like to see United play against Sevilla. For me, the crucial aspect is having the ability to play out from the back with the ball. Because if we don't do that and we simply knock it long and Sevilla get the ball, we have to sit in shape under pressure. And that's not where United are at their best. United are at their best at the moment going forward. And to do that, we need possession. And to have possession... We need some confidence in front of our own defence. And that's, I think, where Matic will come in, where McTominay and Fred aren't capable of doing that just yet. But that's come through experience. And that's why I think Matic is crucial in this semi-final against Sevilla. Let me know who would be in your predicted eleven. I think there could be question marks about Bay or Lindelof. There could be question marks about Fosu Mensa and Williams. Matic or McTominay or Fred. Let me know what you think in the comments below. It's going to be a hell of a game. Our hardest game in the Europa League so far. Obviously, we're in the semi-finals now. But United have to be confident that we can go and do this. It's going to be so important for Solskjaer to win that trophy. If he can win it now and win the Europa League, we are in the best possible place to go forward next season with that trophy under our belt. Let me know what you think about it. How confident are you about the Europa League semi? Can we get to the final where we will probably play Lukaku, Sanchez, Young and Inter Milan? That'll be an interesting one, but Sevilla, we've got to get past them first. Fingers crossed we can do it on Sunday. Let me know what your score predictions are in the comments below. Bring it on.